This is a 76-year-old male patient who presented with recurrent intestinal bleeding of unknown origin. A small angiectasia is demarcated at capsule endoscopy in the gastric antrum. There are multiple angiectasias of the small bowel detected by capsule endoscopy. Therefore, balloon enteroscopy was scheduled to treat the lesions. Double balloon enteroscopy identifies the small bowel angiectasias. The lesion may be a flat red spot of only a few millimetres or it may measure up to one or two centimetres. With use of a specific probe, argon plasma coagulation can easily be applied at the lesion. A stable position of the endoscope is crucial for targeted treatment. The use of low energy outputs at argon plasma coagulation, APC, also helps to minimize the risk of perforation in thin-walled intestinal areas such as the small bowel. With increase of size, angiectasias are suspected to harbour a high potential of bleeding, and elevated lesions are often said to be exceptionally prone to bleed. At some positions of the balloon enteroscope, or the lesion, it might be difficult to adjust the optimal distance of the APC probe from the bowel mucosa for the argon beam to trigger firing. The mode Precise APC offers distance-independent application of APC. Beside devices that offer an axial argon plasma beam, there are APC probes available featuring side firing. This might help in some endoscopic positions to improve targeting the lesion. Flexible APC probes for endoscopic use are available as reusable or disposable devices. To improve stability of the position, intravenous application of butoscopolamine or glucagon might be of some help by significantly reducing bowel motility. Studies have demonstrated that bleeding from angiectasias in the small bowel can be effectively treated with APC using balloon enteroscopy, and long-term follow-up data show an increase in hemoglobin levels and reduced blood transfusion requirements after endoscopic therapy. Nevertheless, recurrent bleeding might be an issue in some patients in whom endoscopic treatment needs to be repeated. Prospective data indicate that medical treatment with thalidomide might be an additional option for recurrently bleeding patients.